midnight, we all love surprise money, right? Yeah. yeah. Like when you find a $20 bill in an old winter coat or when you get hit by a mail truck and sue the city. <laughs> We've all been there. A bunch of people just got some surprise money from the vape company Juul. A class action lawsuit was filed last year against Juul because they downplayed the addictiveness of their products and because they were marketing to minors, which they have to market to kids, you guys. No one else is dumb enough to do this. <laughs> They did choose flavors that were very irresponsible and enticing to kids, though. Like mango, blueberry, breast milk. They were not good. <laughs> they were not good. The people who filed claims were receiving thousands of dollars via Venmo, which does not feel legal or official at all. <laughs> That's so on brand for Jewel <laughs> to be like, we'll Venmo you. Just like, be quiet. La, 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 wait till I get my money right. This whole thing feels so futuristic. You sucked a little USB thumb drive filled with concentrated stimulant juice, then you touched your screen to file a lawsuit, and then a year later, a small fortune showed up in your bank account. If I tried explaining this situation to my grandparents, they would be like, cool, we used to work in mines. <laughs> Speaking of delicious stuff in legal trouble, a pizzeria in Germany just got caught selling something with a very special add-on. That's right, cocaine pizza. <laughs> Which is how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got their powers. <laughs> also, this headline calling the cocaine a secret ingredient is excellent. <laughs> like. Seriously, whoa, this calzone is awesome. What's the recipe? I put uh, some coke in it. <laughs> Just like a mama used to snort. I can't do the accent without these hands. I don't even know. Just like, see, you can't do it without these. <laughs> the way the restaurant pulled this off was whenever someone ordered pizza number 40, they would place a baggie of cocaine under the pie. They said this item was one of their best sellers. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> Hello, you should have no trouble selling a product that is full of illicit drugs. This may actually explain the popularity of the Cybertruck. Because it looks like it's full of coke. You know what I mean? If cocaine drove a car, it would be the Cybertruck. <laughs> if you're surprised about Germans selling drugs with their pizza, don't be. I've seen German pizza. It is not good. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Of course, they teamed up with Italy during World War II. They were desperate for flavor. <laughs> Edgy crowd. Edgy crowd. In other food news, TikTokers have been making food boards. Is this how other people hang out with their friends? Yeah. Real? I feel like such a slacker after watching those videos. Most of the time, if I'm hanging out with someone, I'm just lying on my bed watching rom-coms with a laptop balanced on my uterus. <laughs> right? These groups are so organized, I can barely get four people to join the same group chat. Because one person's always like, no, Chelsea has an Android. It's like, yeah, and Chelsea's part of this family. Grow up and send some green texts. Yes. Yes. Some men doing food boarding as well. I said some men are food boarding, and someone in the back goes, What? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure these qualify as boards, all right? The Chinese food one is literally just styrofoam placed on a board. <laughs> That's like me calling my Uber driver my chauffeur. Like, we're reaching. But of course, if I were invited to one of these parties, I would want to show off, so I'd build a board that nobody could resist. <laughs> I've never seen cocaine. Is that what it looks like? Thank God. Let's start the show.